Hello everyone and hello everyone and welcome to my channel XR Scratch Tutorials. My name is Suraj Kushan. And today we are going to create HTML with CSS. I will give you a demo of normal HTML. So friends, it is done. I have created a very basic HTML which we all know how to create. Now let's do it. We will set the language to HTML and we will save it. Now let's name it anything we want. And now we have saved it. So let's quickly open it in our in our browser so we can quickly check what we have done so here we have the name which i've put so here this is our text very dull it looks like it's just dead nothing interesting now let me show what will happen And friends, we are done. Let's quickly switch and boom. The font looks very modern. The background is black. Actually, it's red. So now we have done this. So let's take an example on some of my other CSS projects. Here, one of my CSS projects is this. Okay, wait a second. One of my CSS projects is this, which I was testing, like how much better can I make a user interface for a website here. So it's welcome hacker agency, welcome ethical hacker. You are invited to hacker convention 2021. Please input your code, code of your invitation card. So currently I just uh, have not chosen any code. Even if you put something like this, it will still accept Next, you can choose male or female or whatever you are. Oh, I have accidentally chosen both. Let's put anything in it. Oh, let's put anything in it. Something random, you can put anything and submit. So this is also a, a alert code that I've used and here, so can you see i've used verdana here and the background is black and the text is white but normally it's normal so now we can use uh, look take a look at some of the others very good user interfaces of the websites first my favorite user interface which is discord it's very good can you see this can you see the discord can you see their text and then see the background, see their font and see that this stuff you can see and can you see this is not white, this is gray, this is white, right? And see this is black. So this is what we can do. This is also their font because they have their very own font because they have created their font. So here, now we have CSS. Now, we can do CSS in other ways also. Like for one website, which I've created using HTML, is a website. So here I have the index file, let's click on it. So this is my, this. 
so can you see the background is first of all gray then this can you see this this is a photo in the background and then this is the text which is written in white and then it is done to verdana font and the background is black of the links things like that so now we have seen but we want to know one thing when i will right click on this and open it with notepad there is no css can you see here you might not be able to see let me open it with vs code now can you see there is no css here behind p no css it's because the css is here in the link part now where does this link go the link is this which is i have named the styles one so this is the the all of the css is in one different file so my code doesn't look very very painful very painful to look at and also my code is short not very long i can just use the link to this file like this okay so now i will tell you about it later in the video or maybe in the other videos i will tell you about it but there is another type of css also if i remove this css if i remove this css and if i completely remove this css and i save it and then i switch tab you can see it's restored to normal the same boring font and white color in the background now to do this we will do one thing we'll type in head then we will type in uh, it's called style it's like that something and inside this we will write our css code so let's write for example for p i will write and here we use curly brackets now i can write the code for example color and here the good thing is that you don't have to write style again and again here one time write style no need of no need of the double inverted commas no need of anything just simply this only so i can quickly write and here we can save it so we have forgot to do one thing that is the slash style now can you see this that's why always put your end tags because if you do not it will be a huge mess and not only this you can add more i suggest that you do it like this it looks way better now i can write my font family verdana because that's my favorite it looks clean and i suggest that if you have a big space in between just do this click on backspace can you see it's restored and now once we have done this let's quickly return here and we will click on this then we will check wait a second so here it has got a bit bigger and by bigger i mean you can make it very very bigger so big that the entire website is full of that only size but here we will write font size and then we will write 
one million it's more than one million let's reduce it let's start from one very small very tiny here can you see this very tiny let's make it a bit bigger by adding let's make it a bit bigger by adding 10 here and let's see not at all an improvement zero save it over it's very big but now we're going to make it more crazy big <laughs> can you see this it's so big so so big from every corner it's very big if we make it one ten thousand let's see what will happen oh my god where has my text gone can you see this this is one part and then i have to span across this this must be h s i think this is f can you see let's add another zero let's see how will it go on one lakh Is nothing happening now I think it must have a limit for it now let me show you how much I have reduced it to 25 and this is the let's reset it to 100 okay let's reset this to here and let's keep it at 100 only it was looking beautiful I don't know what I have done yes now very good this way you can use css and you you can not only use it on this you can use it multiple places on any tag on any place you can even use css to create your own drawings here but that's a very very hard process because and that that is what we call pure css drawings what i'm talking about and not only this for example if I want but remember one thing if I create multiple P's now this can be another P with another thing paragraph tag that also will take it so if you don't want to do it you should learn classes which I will explain in my later HTML videos other than that if you want to change it you can use classes which is a completely different process and let me give you another example of very beautiful css if you go to you if you want some uh, examples of very beautiful css you can search very beautiful css now see there are multiple css ones pair css io here we have multiple best css3 awards you should go on awards because this shows many of the css okay let's check one of these let's check this one. Oh wow let's visit site <laughs> can you see this this is also very good oh it's selecting in red wow okay except all okay this is a smartwatch must be made by Vati. can you see this it's flipping like so good this is also pure css but it takes a lot of time and a lot of hard work to be created see and proof it is not a photo because if it was a photo you can drag it here you cannot drag it world's most luxurious can you see let's see more so here also you can see and you should i suggest that you should stay in the you should see the what is the current what is the current 
considered the best CSS. Nowadays, there's a CSS. Oh. <laughs> Can you see how it moved? So see the way that CSS nowadays is done today. Nowadays, there's a thing known as curved CSS. So you should try that. But that will we will get to in later video because CSS is very, very complex. But once you learn it, you can easily create easily create better websites like I just showed you the Bugatti smartwatches one. You see this? So friends, I think that's enough for today's video. In today's video, we saw how to do CSS like here. You can do CSS, you can do CSS here, and you can create an extra file for CSS. We will get to that in later videos. And I think that's enough for the video today. And I'll meet you in the next episode of HTML.